When Amartya Sen, Economy Nobel Prize, got to know our work linked to communicative methodology, he wrote, This is a smart and most clarifying debate about the problems arising when distributive justice is understood in terms of opportunities and availability of resources, without taking into account the inequalities that appear as a result of social barriers and cultural conventions. Piling this communicative methodology demanded a great theoretical rigor as well as deep involvement in the practical side in order to overcome the widespread habit of talking or writing about those issues that have not been directly read beforehand, there is a seminar since its start in 1991 with the book in hand that gives the opportunity of reading and talking about the best works in the different scientific disciplines. Debates are performed on the basis of egalitarian dialogue, in which the hierarchy of the speaker, but only evidences, is not accounted for on arguments. Beck exclaimed, where's the miracle? He referred to the intellectual knowledge shown by Karma Garcia, a 21-year-old student. We managed in 1998 to have six of his books published in Spanish. We did not have any of them before. To attend the internal seminar with any of the authors invited by CREA, the requirement is to have read beforehand all their works translated into Spanish, regardless if you are a professor or a student. Karma was a degree student, and she read in depth the six books during the summer. Ulrich was really thrilled with the most unusual intellectual level of the debate. He explained something about one of his works, and Karma, the student, said that that concept did not appear in that book, but in another one. The intellectual author smiled and replied, Excuse me, young lady, they are my books. Then Karma just limited herself to show him a page of one of his own work, providing how right she was. Many authors have been highly impressed by the intellectual and human level achieved through those dialogic intellectual gatherings, completely open, where it is read and debated what has been previously read with many voices and a great variety of participants. Thus, what was aimed was a very high intellectual level, together with a great commitment and involvement with empiric practical evidences that once took researchers like the great Spanish scientist Santiago Ramón y Cajal to remarkably contribute to science and to society too. This dynamic allowed in the 90s already the development of the communicative methodology of research that, collecting previous contributions of many different orientations, gave a new step forward to another way to relate with the scientific community and with all different people and groups in our societies. This methodology has allowed performing research of a very unusual scientific, political and social impact. Workalow's main conclusion was unanimously approved by the European Parliament, as well as by other state and regional parliaments. In the project meetings participated, for instance, Livia Jaroga, the one who presented the motion in the European Parliament, or Josep Andreu, the one who presented it in the Spanish Parliament, once he had publicly committed before a Roma great-grandmother who declared herself as illiterate and who also participated in the research. The recognition of Roma people has generated relevant improvements in the situation of a growing number of their members. All the recognition in Catalonia had been previously achieved through European projects, it seemed an impossible task to obtain it in a Europe historically reluctant towards the recognition of ethnic groups as its people. Included has been the only investigation within the economic, social and humanities sciences included in the European Commission list of 10 successful scientific investigations. Successful actions identified in five sectors, education, employment, housing, health and participation, are achieving the transformation 
and the improvement in the lives of people and groups of all socioeconomic levels, as well as of all cultural groups in many different parts in the world. With the relevant participation of Jesús Gómez, communicative methodology has become a world key model, with already three monographic publications on the topic, one of it in the first international journal of research in qualitative inquiry, amongst other journals of the first quartile of journal citation reports. One of its most appreciated characteristics is that of the overcoming of the objectivist conceptions that use as instruments the investigated people as mere objects. They went there to obtain information from them with questions, in-depth interviews, and then disappeared. But it is also highly appreciated how it overcomes the subjectivist conception that took no notice of the obligation by the researcher to bring to the egalitarian dialogue with investigative people all the previous contributions already approved by the international scientific community.